going on folks? I'm going to show you the correct way how to splice together um, some electrical wiring. Like say for example you had to splice something together and also how you would use um, shrink heat shrink tubing to put over top of it. So I'm going to be splicing these wires together right here but I'm also going to be putting some heat shrink tubing on top of this wire once I'm done splicing it. This is pretty cheap to get. You can get it from Harbor Freight or something like that for about $1.50 or something like that. But the first thing I want to do is, you see these two wires right here, I'm going to look at, take my heat shrink tubing, I'm going to kind of measure it out, uh, probably about this much I'm going to want to have to cover up this connection. So the first thing I'm going to do is, let's go ahead on and cut me a piece that I know is going to be longer then what my splice is going to be like that. So now that I have a piece of it cut, I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on. You want to get the right size um, heat shrink tubing to go over the size wire that you have. So I'm going to take it, stick it over top of it, and go ahead and pull it down like that. Just leave it there for now. Now what I'm going to be doing is splicing together the wire. The way that I splice it together for a strong um, connection are a strong um, before it holds together better it's called a Western Union splice and what you want to do is start like with an X like that with an X and then you want to take one side fold it down like that take the other side fold it down like that and then you want to basically just keep wrapping each side all the way around so I'm doing making it tight wrap each side all the way around the other wire just like that take it all the way down to the end of it keep wrapping it around and at the end you want to make sure that you press it down really really tight this makes a nice strong connection in between the wires and this is called a Western Union splice or twist whatever you want to call it but that's the best way that I found to connect two electrical wires together like that see if I have it like that I'm taking the ends of it and pressing down nice and tight so when you're done it should look like that and it's nice and strong pretty much just like that now of course if you don't have some um, heat shrink tubing you can use some electrical tape now over this piece right here but since I have this, that's why I put the tubing on first. Now that it's one piece, now I can just kind of slide this tubing over top of the splice that I just did, just like that. So that's over it. And now what I'm going to be doing is, is taking some type of a heat. You could take a heat gun, or you could take a cigarette lighter, or some type of a torch or something, and just kind of heat up. And if you can see, as you're heating up this tubing, it's going to pretty much like shrink wrap almost onto this wire to make a nice watertight basic seal over top of it. And you can see how it did. It pretty much I'm going to go around the other side of it. Like I said, you want to get it nice and tight. It should shrink wrap on top of it. Don't keep the flame in one place for too long because you don't want to burn it. You just want to pretty much make the, the the heat shrinking tubing pretty much shrink to completely form onto the wire. Just like that. And now you got a nice strong connection and your wire pretty much is back together and it's protected with the heat shrink tubing. This is for like electrical wires and stuff like that. Like I said, you could use some type of a, a electrical tape or something like that if you need to. But a lot of times that could over time start unraveling and coming back off. So I like just to use, like I said, some some heat shrinking tubing that pretty much is pretty cheap to get. You'll get like different sizes. I have like the smaller, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger as well as it gets bigger than this. So once again, folks, this is the proper way that you would connect electrical wiring by using the Western Union twist the way I showed you as well as how you would then cover that with some heat shrinking tubing for a nice strong um, safe connection pretty much all right folks please check out our other helpful videos please like subscribe and share thanks